Abracadabra, abracadabra, here we go. Welcome guys. In front of us we have a chart that shows the average annual family spending by age. No, no, no. What this says is that, by the way, let me acknowledge the source of this great chart. Source comes from Harry S. Kent Jr. You're a genius and you know it. Uh, the guy wrote this book 1998 but most of this stuff was written in 1994 so the guy's been dead on um, you should check out his books on amazon really interesting stuff harry s den dude that's a genius right there okay now let's go back to our chat so this shows the average annual family spending by age and what this just shows is that the average individual, the average family is going to reach their peak spending years around you know, age 49 and a half. Actually, that peaks around 49 and a half and then it drops down. So by uh, calculating the growth, I mean the birth rate in any society, any community, you can project in the future what the spending is going to be like. And then so two things also happen so while the family you know the you know the parents are reaching their peak spending usually you'll find that the kids are also starting their new homes and that is what they call um, another population i mean economical boost from the starter homes so you have two things happening the parents reach their peak spending years and the kids start their new home so that does drive a lot of economical cycles um, i'm gonna show you another chart now this chart is um, has on the, the thin line is the S and P 500, and the dark line is the spending wave. And this spending wave is we've taken the birth rates and added 49 and a half years, and trying to calculate what the future spending is gonna be like. It's very simple. So you notice I'm gonna key in on two areas of very phenomenal i mean the position of this chart is amazing we picked sometime in 1929 there was you know the crash and all that but what is interesting is that leading in the you know the rally that took place in the 1920s was actually predicted by the spending wave which also picked guess when 1929 at the same time the stock market picked at the same time so very interesting correlation we go back 80 years we go back to 1870 we see another uh, peak spending wave reach a peak right there and at the same time the stock market hit an all-time high and dropped down so we see two phenomenal uh, very important times in history like we are right now and we see that the spending wave the spending wave baby that's where the money goes is where the stock market follows Right now we are seeing that around 2009 we are going to hit the peak spending wave as the third and the largest wave of baby boomers on average are going to hit the peak spending years. Uh, this aided by immigration uh, infusion, not the accent, is going to bring in another stock market something to watch for that's why i'm saying 2011 around that time give or take we have to hit phenomenal brand new ultra mega super all-time highs this is eric moade with moade.com wishing you sincerely peace and blessings to you and yours put that money in the stock market